Well, a boxing clinch is somewhat like a grappling clinch as well. You know, they, a little yeah, different. They can throw you down, though. Right. They, they know, right, they skilled him. Just like, like with McGregor. I was just, I bet on a knockout, so I was just so scared that he was going to get disqualified because he was hitting the floor behind the head. And, he was actually spinning them real good. He was spinning yeah. the shit out Man, of Floyd. He was spinning that. That just lets you know just the skill level that he had. And I think he would be a, a successful boxer if he took it serious. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he could be some guy. Is there anyone in boxing now, say, at anywhere between 47 and 60, you think McGregor could beat? I mean, just like they was talking about that, uh, what's the kid? The, the, um, the announcer on HBO. Was it HBO that? or Showtime? Showtime was, you know. You Malinaji? Yeah, Malinaji. Malinaji knew he was too small for uh, I mean, you try to fight him in a real fight. You know, Malinaji is not a, you know, a 54 pounder. You know, he, he had a small workweight, and I don't think he had a chance of beating McGregor if they fought him with uh, eight ounce gloves on. You think McGregor beat Malinaji? Yeah, yeah, too big and strong. Knockout, decision? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see him. I can see him stopping if he hit him. McGregor's huge. McGregor's probably coming down from 189, 190 pounds. McGregor wants to be four. That's what I'm saying. And like Paulie, he, his back is Paulie's a small welterweight that, that really couldn't punch. So um, I think it would be you know, a bad, a bad idea to try to fight him and make the you know the boxers look bad. You think anyone else in boxing he could beat? That's actor. Any actor fighter. That he, that he could be, I mean, if he, as long as he stay at 54, he got a chance. If he go over 160, he won't be as successful. But if he, if he could train, train his way down to 154 and fight a couple of guys and get his condition right, he, mm -hmm. I think he'd be okay. Some killers though. Like at 54, how do you think he does against, I'm going to throw some names out, Saddam Ali. How do you think McGregor does? I don't know, I ain't never really watched Saddam like that. Nate, Nate Jones said he'll be Victor Ortiz. That he'll be who? Nate Jones said he, he'll be Victor Ortiz on any on any given Saturday. <laughs> he said he could train him. And he said he he can he would be Victor Ortiz. Well, we well, said that after the fight. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the first I left. 54. You got uh, Jamel Charlo. No, nah, I mean he not gonna he not gonna be no he not gonna be the champion. Harrison Lubin. He not gonna be the champion. He not gonna be the champion, but he could beat somebody in the 54 division. Jared Hurd. He's not gonna be the champion. He's not yeah. gonna be the champion. He's not gonna be the champion. But I'm saying it's uh, uh, older guy. You know, somebody career pretty much older. He he could beat 54, but he's not gonna be the top champion. Let's say the Cotto that Saddam Ali beat. Do you yeah, think Conor yeah, McGregor yeah, could yeah, be him? Cotto. Cotto's you know he passed his prime. It's time to go. Like I said, with Conor, with Conor McGregor's skill level, that people don't even want to give him credit for being a softball. Being long and with it, uh, the angles that he has, he give everybody problems. So guys, that's not a level.